And boys, we'll just continue with some examples. So this next question, we're trying to find the letter D and what value that is, and we're also going to give a reason. The quickest way on this one, when you spot that it's an equilateral triangle, is just to say D equals 60 degrees, angles in an equilateral triangle are all, are all 60 degrees. Okay, that's the quickest way, otherwise we're going to have to do a couple of steps and it's going to have two reasons, and we could quite easily just do it like that. So for those of you who've forgotten why would that be 60, just remember it's 180 degrees for the angles in a triangle, divide by three equal angles will give you 60 degrees. Okay, down here in C, I've put this in, so your question is just what's in black there. Now, I can't find that straight away, so I'm going to get my red pen and write an A in here, and I'm going to find that first. Okay, so what I'm going to write is that A, I know, equals 30 degrees. And the reason I know that is because I go from the equal sides to the opposite angles, and I am pointing at two equal angles. So if this is 30, then this is also going to be 30. So our reason for that is equal angles, opposite equal sides, in an isosceles triangle. Okay, so when you get that answer, you need to write that in to see if it's what you're doing. So I'm just going to write in that that is 30 degrees. And so now we're going to look at what G is. So we know that the angles in a triangle all add up to 180. So I'm going to take 180 degrees. I'm going to take off the 30 here and the 30 here. Now the reason for that, how did we get the 180? It's because we knew the angles in the triangle added up to 180. So we say angle sum of triangle is 180 degrees. Now if you get your calculator and do 180 minus 30 minus 30, you will get 120 degrees. And that's our final answer. So we've got two reasons going through to actually get our final answer there. Okay, in this next one, in this question we're looking for A. Now there's a quick way to do this and a slower way to do this. If you're good with the exterior angle rule, that's the quick way. So I'm going to do method one using the exterior angle rule. So this has been a side of the triangle extended. That created an angle outside the triangle. That's our exterior angle. So that angle there, the rule tells us, is equal to the sum of the two angles inside the triangle that are not next to it. So they're opposite. So we can say that A equals 85 plus 42. Work it out on your calculator, it's 127 degrees, and this is your rule. You write the whole thing down, no shortcuts. Exterior angle equals sum of two interior opposite angles. And that's it. But if you can't remember that rule in the exam, you can still get there. So if you have a look at it, you go, okay, I don't know how to get that straight away. So I'm going to find this angle in here. I'm going to put a red X there. So I'm going to find that angle. So I know that the angles in the triangle add up to 180. So we're going to do 180 minus 85 minus 42, which gives us 53 degrees. Now the reason you knew that, where did the 180 come from? It was because you knew the angle sum of the triangle is 180 degrees. After you've got that answer and we write it in, then you can find A, which is next to the 53 on that straight line there. So we're going to use these two angles on a straight line now. Okay, so to get A, we're going to do 180, take away the 53. And that will give us 127. Same answer as we got up there. But you have to write a reason for this. So where did the 180 come from? It's because you knew that the angles on a straight line add up to 180. So in this case, it's longer. It's got four lines of working and two reasons. This is two lines of working and one reason. But a lot of people in the exam won't remember that one. You can still do this and get it right. Okay, in E, that side has 
been extended, creating an exterior angle. So we can use our exterior angle rule again. So our exterior angle equals the sum of the two interior opposite angles. So that's these two. So we can write down that 118 equals D plus 90 for the right angle. And write your rule down. Exterior angle equals the sum of the two interior opposite angles. So now we're going to just solve that little equation to find out what D is. So we're going to get rid of our plus 90, move it to the other side, and then use your calculator. So D will be 28 degrees. Okay, in F, that's hard, you can't get that straight away, and I can't even use my exterior angle rule here. So we have no choice. We have to find maybe that one, let's call it A, write it in red. And then we might find that one, we might call it B, write that in red. So to find A, these two angles are on a straight line. So we know that out of 180. So we're going to say 180 minus 120. And write our reason. Angles on a straight line, add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so if we use our calculator and do that, we get A equals 60 degrees. Right, that's one part out so far. Now we're going to write in that that is 60 degrees. So now we're going to find B the same way. So these two angles are on a straight line and they add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to write B equals 180 minus 110 because we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. And then when we work that out, we get 70 degrees. And let's write it in here. Okay, so now we're down here trying to find that X. And we can look inside this triangle now. And we know that the angles in that triangle add up to 180. So to find X, we're going to do 180. Take away the 60 and the 70. And if you use your calculator to do that, it's going to give you 50 degrees. And the reason you know that is because the angles sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, the last question up here on the board. That's not a triangle at all, that's a quadrilateral. And the rule we learned about angles in a quadrilateral is that the angles in the quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Now if you're finding that hard to remember, just think of it as Two triangles. We've got 180 in one triangle, 180 in the other triangle. So it's 360 degrees altogether. Okay, so we're going to take the 360, take off our 99, our 110, our 62, and we'll be left with 89 degrees. The reason you're going to write this angle sum of the quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So you can explain where that came from. Okay, we're going to do just one more question in the next video and then you'll have a go at your homework after that.